Hello, I'm Elizabeth Vargas, and this is 2020 in Touch. Here's what we're working on for this week's program. Ramon Salcido is still on the run, wanted for the murders of seven people. His daughter Carmina, who survived 36 hours in an open field with her throat slashed, rolled into the ER on a hospital gurney, sits up, because if she lies down, she will die. When we got there, they were just bringing her in through the, through the door. When she arrived, there was no question that there was something about her character and grit that allowed her to survive. She shouldn't have, she shouldn't have survived the injuries that she had. 36 hours alone in that dump. <laughs> what are the odds of her survival in that? Pretty slim. Ramon Salcido's five-day reign of terror ends with his capture near his hometown of Las Mochas. The big news in Mexico City newspapers today is... In a rare piece of ABC News footage, Salcido's on board a plane to Mexico City, where he will be handed over to American authorities. What he says is as coldly shocking today as it was then. Are you mournful of what you did? Uh, not really. After landing, he's paraded by Mexican officials. Come on, why did you kill the Richards family? Why did you kill your children? Why did you do that? Toward his handoff to the Americans, including the one man who has tracked him since the beginning, Detective Mike Brown. I really wanted to, uh, Ramon to come back to the United States and face trial and to have justice served upon him here. I mean, you say that very flatly, but I mean, didn't you just want to get him back here? I wanted to throw him out of the airplane at 10,000 feet, there you go. but uh, that wasn't uh, that wasn't my job or my responsibility, and and uh, and uh, so the next best thing is to treat him as though we're the only friends he has on this planet so that we can get a confession from him. Which is precisely what Detective Brown is going to do. Within moments of passing into American airspace, he snaps this picture and his team reads Ramon Salcido his rights. By the time he returns to Sonoma, Ramon Salcido is a despised man. The mob in Santa Rosa awaiting Salcido's return from Mexico. Right now, we can do it right now. The people are here, we have the motivation, and I have a rope. Let's kill him. As much as they want to kill Ramon Salcido, the people of Sonoma County are showering his daughter, Carmina, with love, perhaps feeling that her survival is now mystically tied to their own, an outpouring of sympathy and well wishes from local residents pour into her hospital room. By the time Carmina left the hospital, there was hardly a person in Sonoma County who did not know her name, who did not wonder what's next for this little survivor without a family. The short version is she vanished. The longer version is best told by Carmina herself. You know, I was being told that I was no better than my dad, I, that, you know, I had demon blood running in me, that I was, you know, I might as well have a, a cell next to him and live with him. Carmina's new life brings back an old darkness. And then, 20 years later, she meets her father. The kind of emotions he had were sickening. 